Mr. Kevin Feige, the absolute gangster, may have done it again. Let's talk about this Haley Steinfeld Hawkeye news. What's up, everybody? It's Josh. Welcome back to the channel. Smash that like button and let's get right into this report. This has been a really interesting story to watch transpire over the last couple of days. Allow me to fill you in on what's been going on in case you haven't seen it. People have been talking about Haley Steinfeld coming over to be Kate Bishop in the MCU for months and months and months. This has been something that late last year was a big, big story. This was something that Feige wanted to do, and then there was a lot of hangups along the way in the negotiations. Obviously, with the shutdown and everything, there was a lot of uncertainty out there in the world, so we didn't know what was going on. And then there was an Apple television deal that Haley was working on as well that seemingly conflicted with what she might want to do with the MCU. And then, of course, and we'll get into more of this at the end of the video, there's also the fact that she voices Gwen, and more specifically, Spider-Gwen, in Into the Spider-Verse, and likely into uh, the Spider-Verse 2. And if they were going to do that character in live action, she would obviously be the pick for that as well. We'll get into that in a minute. But a couple of days ago, the Illuminati ran a report talking about the Hawkeye show, and they said in there they are hearing that Haley and Jeremy Renner are officially set to star. Later that same day, Jeremy Conrad of MCU Cosmic came out and basically confirmed this on his Twitter in what is now considered a pretty controversial tweet. Here is what he tweeted. He's saying, sounds like it's done. Haley just signed. We might get a confirmation from THR or Variety soon. But as of the recording of this video, that has not happened. The trades have not come out to confirm this. In fact, this whole story took a weird turn after that tweet. In fact, many other big time scoopers came out and sort of debunked what Jeremy and the Illuminati was reporting. They were saying that this negotiation is still far off. Some of them saying that Haley has absolutely walked away from the deal. Now, Look, I don't know exactly what happened, but I do know that this caused a bunch of drama and basically the Twitter mob did come for Jeremy Conrad. And then in what I consider to be a pretty good Twitter thread, Jeremy Conrad explained the whole situation because there were people claiming that this new Haley scoop was coming from an old production grid and it was totally absent of all sorts of developments in the year of 2020. And people were saying, wow, this was really mishandled. And a lot of people were coming for Jeremy Conrad. Here's what he said on Twitter defending himself. What I posted yesterday did not come from a casting grid. Last week, a source told me something big would be happening this week. Illuminati ran their story that she was officially cast wanting to make sure that was legit i checked with my source they came back and said it was legit but not 100 percent official yet because she hadn't signed the contract they didn't want to say anything last week because it wasn't signed yet they weren't going off a casting grid so i ran the story backing up illuminati but explaining how she hadn't signed on the dotted line 90 minutes later source got back saying it's done meaning she signed thus my tweet a lot of people are trying to debunk the Haley as Kate because of a lot of people heard she was out of the role and a few months ago she almost was if Hawkeye had filmed in the summer Renner posted in March about getting into the gym for it she wouldn't be available so around February Marvel met with two actresses because of the availability issue for Haley but then in the second week of March when the big earth shattering thing happened, Haley was supposed to meet with Marvel again. Then, on March 11th, the world shut down and everything got delayed. Had all that craziness not shut everything down and delayed all production into the fall, you might be seeing set photos of Olivia Cook as Kate Bishop on Just Jared by now. But since everything got pushed, that changes availability and allows Marvel to cast their first choice for Kate. Look, I know I've gotten stuff wrong in the past, Annihilation, LOL, but I've learned to be a lot more cautious with what I trust. I'd never post that someone was cast just off an old casting grid or IMDB. That's the reason I went to a human source after the Illuminati post. So, I mean, you know, your mileage may vary on however you feel about this story but i gotta tell you i i really respect that uh twitter thread by jeremy quite a bit i mean he's being super self-aware of the annihilation thing a lot of people come at him for that it, it was something that he did get wrong uh he talks about being more careful and he's really just explicitly explaining the whole situation i believe jeremy by the way jeremy has great sources like he's absolutely in it. He's got great sources, 100%. So uh, I tend to believe Jeremy and the Illuminati, but it is sort of curious that the trades have not confirmed it as of yet. However, like I said, I buy it. And so now let's talk about why this is absolutely gangster. Of course, you know, Haley Steinfeld voices 
Gwen. Gwen Stacy, Spider Gwen in Into the Spider-Verse, and there's been a lot of discussions about what is going on with the Sony Marvel Universe and their plans for Tom Holland over there in the movies with Venom, with Tom Hardy, with all of that situation. That is obviously a big thing. We've, we've been hearing a ton about what Sony wants to do. It's pretty clear that they would love to have Haley Steinfeld come in and actually be Spider Gwen in live action. That would be a great get for them. And Feige, came in and swooped her up, dude. This is one of those classic Feige gangster type moves where he just throws his weight around and gets the Kate Bishop that he wants that also undercuts a big plan that a potentially competing studio had for an actress. And you know, it's nice to see that despite all of the delays, despite all the craziness that's happened in 2020, Kevin Feige's still that same old Feige gangster that we know and love. Oh, he did it again! And as far as Kate Bishop, Haley Steinfeld, I mean, look, I'll just be honest with you. I'm not a huge Haley fan. I haven't really seen her in a lot, but I know she's got a huge cult following. A lot of people were very invested in her being Kate Bishop. I will say that David Aha, Matt Fraction run of Hawkeye, which looks to be a huge inspiration for the actual Disney Plus show, was incredible. And Kate Bishop was an awesome character in that run. But I have to be honest, I haven't read much of her outside of that series. I think it's pretty clear she'll be in the Young Avengers, and it's pretty clear that the Young Avengers is a big, big thing for Feige and for the MCU. So, hey, look, Young Avengers fans, uh, Haley Steinfeld fans, fans of Kate Bishop as a character, rejoice! Good stuff is happening as it does appear, although not 100% confirmed, that Haley Steinfeld will be in the role of Kate Bishop in the Hawkeye show, and it looks like Renner's coming back for that as well. I know there were some questions about that because he got into a bit of controversy earlier this year. Looks like he got lucky. Some other big stories kind of took the lead on that, and, and not a lot of people are talking about Renner's uh, situations. So it looks like we're all good here. Hawkeye show actually happening. Haley Steinfeld as Kate Bishop. Sounds pretty dope to me. I want to know what you think about this in the comment section below. And now let's shout out Hunter Terrell. Yes, indeed. Zatanna speaks backwards to activate her magic, and I love what you did with this answer. And now, let's ask another nerd card question before we get out of here. I want to know, what was the nickname given to the dog that played a big role in that Matt Fraction David Aha run of Hawkeye, which seems to be a big inspiration for the Disney Plus show? Answer that question in the comment section below. A big reminder Reminder that tonight, Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, over on our live streaming channel, another episode of the Nerd Card Showdown happens. You are not going to want to miss this epic trivia contest. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day, and I'll see you in the next video.